Welcome, everybody. It is Crypto Moose, and it's time to get loose. Mitchell Bouchard, your crypto and NFT investor. So what we're going to do on this episode is dive into Cardano. Specifically, guys, I want to talk about the biggest upgrade to date. So this is coming soon. Um, guys, if you agree or not, comment down below. Put your thoughts, opinions, questions. Let me know what you think. But I think Ouroboros Leos is going to be massive. So I want to just give you guys a little bit of thoughts and opinions on it. Um, why I believe it's a big deal. But also, I want to talk about what is Ouroboros Leos, okay? Um, so guys, nothing on this episode should be taken as financial advice. You're listening to A Loose Moose. Okay, so guys, we're looking at Cardano's price and things are looking spicy. I've already talked about it. If you guys want, you can subscribe, watch out my other videos. You guys can now claim your night tokens using um, your Trezor. So I was able to do that and supposedly Ledger works as well. So let me know if you're having luck, but I did do a step-by-step -step tutorial on that for you guys, okay? Uh, but guys, let's focus up on Ouroboros Leos. This is going to be big and We'll talk about scalability and throughput, um, but this is what I really want to get into. So this could really change everything for the ecosystem. And again, guys, it's my opinion that we have a long ways to go, um, and I'm talking about up. So I think September, October, it's going to be pretty sweet here. So right now, ADA sitting around 86 cents, and this isn't the big deal. What's big are these upgrades. So guys, what is Laos? What is Laos? So really it's the next evolution of Cardano's consensus protocol, okay? So guys, the goal is simple. It is to scale Cardano massively, okay? So here, well, I guess we'll get into that part in a little bit. So Cardano, guys, an incredible blockchain, the proof of stake, if you've been staking, um, even using a non-custodial wallet, it's been fantastic. So here we could even look, uh, where is the Ouroboros? So what is Ouroboros? Um, and guys, this is a bigger upgrade, I think, than the Shelly era. So I remember when smart contracts were coming around, that was a big deal. Um, then NFTs, it all plays a big role. It all, like Cardano's in such a good spot now where it's pretty cheap, it's pretty fast, it's very secure, right? But what's the next step of this? So we're looking on screen here, right? We got proven security, incentives, rewards, staking, right? The staking is awesome, right? It's 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 the one thing that I would that stands out to me with Cardano, right? Um, but the real thing here is to scale Cardano massively without losing its decentralization, without breaking it, right? Um, so you could think of this as upgrading from a single lane road to multiple lanes. So I actually um, created this chart. Um, so I got Cardano here. We're looking at, what is it? Two, yeah, 200 transactions per second. So imagine right now, this is ADA, okay? So here we got 200 TPS and it's single lanes, right? So it's sequential. So you can basically, you know, it processes one transaction at a time. It's pretty quick, but then you have bottlenecks, right? I believe I've experienced this. I don't know the exact date, but I remember when Snack was pumping, man, Cardano was getting in trouble because of Snack, right? Like transactions weren't the fastest. So standard cycles, limited DAP growth. So really in the grand scheme of things, this is what Laos could do for us. Um, and, and there's quite a few things I want to talk about. Um, but guys, basically... If you have this in place, you have much faster transactions. This is just the starting phase, 1500 TPS. So you're gonna get an increase of like 5X, almost 10X. And you know, it's parallel. So you have multiple lanes, if you will. So higher throughput, 24 seven development, global development and high uh, frequency dApps. So if you're building decentralized applications, if you want to be able to you know, get more meticulous with things with the blockchain, developers want to 
go more towards this right side of the screen, right? So that's what's very interesting to me. And I think these upgrades are going to be massive for Leos, okay? Um, yeah, so really guys, I mean, faster processing, less bottlenecks. I think that's kind of something that we want in the future. And this is going to help drive up the price. So Eda right now, and we'll get into a little bit of what's going on. And I thought this was very interesting, um, but, but I think this is a big deal. So guys, August, 2025, um, the improvement proposal for Laos was submitted, okay? So the big thing now is that, and I saw this in an interview, Charles Hoskinson says, this could scale Cardano's throughput by 30 to 50X. So again, looking at this chart, this is just the beginning of it. We could see much more scalability. And what I thought was kind of cool is that um, this, is, this is something that Cardano is really pushing for. Okay, so you can expect rollout around 2026. So over the next year, um, if this gets implemented, adopted, I think that could be a big deal. Um, so on top of this, let's get into what I had here. Um, before I want to get into this too, guys, 1500 TPS is just the beginning. Okay, um, so you could see you could see Cardano becoming one of the goats when it comes to uh, transactions with the blockchain, right? Um, okay, I wanted to get into this for a second and I just want to get some of my notes ready here as well. So here's the big one and I did see this in an, in an interview. Um, but yeah, here it is. The zero tolerance for resistance. So Hoskinson emphasizes that he would not tolerate any resistance to this approach. According to him, any engineering team member who doubts um, or resists the new approach has been reassigned, okay? Ah, man, internet, man. But I did see this in an interview, and yeah, basically, if you don't believe in this, like, you're gone. So this is priority for Cardano, which I think is an awesome thing. Um, again, guys, skillability is all that matters. And I, I do believe that this chart is going to give you the best example of that, especially for you newcomers to crypto um, without getting into too much of the complexities. This is what we're looking at, okay? And this is the beginning. You could be talking about, you know, tens of thousands of TPS in the near future. So guys, comment down below. Do you think this is a pressing matter? Um, I think this is a big deal. I think with these upgrades and if we can get this rolled out, I mean, if it happens this year, that would be cool. I don't know if it will, but even in 2026, assuming we still have a bit of a bull run, regardless, this is going to help push the price and compared to other cryptos, um, you know, you look at Solana, sure it's fast, but it's really meme based right now. And I just think Cardano has a lot of the security scalability features that are missing in a lot of other chains. So, I mean, Bitcoin isn't doing this. Bitcoin is not that fast. Ethereum, Ethereum's gas fees are crazy. So definitely something to think about. If you guys hold Cardano, you guys can go to the link tree, which I have pinned everywhere, delegate to the Hedges stake pool. We are also doing our thousand Cardano giveaway. So guys, follow the steps. Just go to the website. Click on ADA giveaway, put in your wallet, and you could win a thousand ADA. It's that simple, guys. Like, it's not that hard to do. Um, if you guys want, pick up a hardware wallet, get loose on one of those. Tangem, guys, Tangem for 50 bucks, 60 bucks, you get a three card set. 50 bucks, you get one of the best non custodial cold wallets in the world. So, with that being said, guys, the moose is loose. Comment down below. Do you believe Laos is a big deal or not? I think it's massive. Cheers.